Well, yesterday marked the one year anniversary of the fire that destroyed the Salem West building in Deerwood. Tonight, Clayton Castle shows us how through their faith, the people of Salem West have rebounded from the disaster. The community support was ter tremendous. It was uh, um, outstanding. I couldn't believe it. It's been one year since the old Salem West building in Deerwood was destroyed in an arson fire. Today, the organization that serves to help families in need is beginning to reflourish in its new space, an old lumber yard along Highway 6 in Deerwood. And I think in the long run, it, it, it worked out for both ends. We were able to acquire a bigger, better space, and the, obviously the former owners were able to part with it because it sat vacant for three years. The expanded space has allowed more room for storage and organization of items such as sheets, diapers, clothes and games. The number of volunteers has also grown since the fire called by Faith to help the organization in need. I feel like I need to be here to help get things organized and just to help. Through all the adversity, Salem West said it actually had a great year, helping 687 families, an increase of 120 from the year before. It's, it's the publicity we had and the help from other organizations was outstanding. I couldn't, I couldn't have asked for a better year. While the fire was bad, the organization remains rooted in its unbreakable faith, seeing the good in the disaster of a year ago. Obviously, the fire was a bad thing, and we were working out of like four different buildings for about four or five months. Um, but in the long run, it turned out that um, everything is a lot better. We've got more space to work, um, more storage space. Um, it, 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 it really turned out for the best. Reporting in Deerwood, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. No one has been arrested in connection with the arson as the Salem West fire remains under investigation. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.